Hi everybody, oh, finally at home. As you see, I have created a coronavirus simulator with a game included. There are plenty of coronavirus simulators on the internet, but there are no simulators where you can control a person, okay? That only happens in this channel, okay? We are not the best scratchers, but we are the most original. So I hope you enjoy this game. <laughs> We're going to begin creating the green ball. Remember to press shift so that we create a regular circle, okay? We will begin to the coronavirus simulator and then we will jump into the game. So new sprite. We make it, that could be too big, so let's make it a bit smaller. And here we have it. So now let's go to code. When we click on green flag, First of all, we're going to hide it. And we're going to create some clones of itself. How many? Let's say 15, for example. And when they start as a clone, first of all, they go, they're going to go to a random position and it's going to put in a random direction. Look, direction goes from negative uh, 180 to 180, which is over here, okay? So, in operators, pick random from negative 179 to 180. Then we're going to show, and now forever, let's say move five steps. If you think this is too slow, we'll change it later. And obviously, if on edge, bounce. So when we click on green flag, we have the simulator, but all of them are healthy, okay? They are not infected. So we have to create another costume here, which is red. After some time, we're going to release an infected person. So we're going to wait for three seconds, for example, and then the original sprite is going to switch costume to number two. Let's give names to the costumes to make them easier to understand. So at the beginning, we're going to be green. So switch costume to red and show because remember the original sprite was hidden. And the same. So you see after three seconds, this is released, but nothing happens when it touches the healthy ones. So every clone will have this. If touching, This color switch costume to red. Right. Whenever it is released, if someone touches red, it becomes red. So after some time, all of them are red. Here we have the simulator. Now we're going to add a counter to count the number of infected people. Okay? It looks pretty simple, but it's not that simple. So, make a variable, infected people, and we change infected people by one when we are touching red color, and at the beginning of the program, set infected people to zero. But it's not that simple, look. Why this number is increasing so much? Because whenever someone is touching something red, it adds one to this variable, so it doesn't stop. So we want to change infected people by one when a green ball is touching red. Not whenever a clone is touching red, only when a green ball is touching red. So if touching red color and I am green, so my costume number is number one. So we need an operator and because there are two conditions, 
I'm touching red color and my costume number equals one. So if I'm green and I'm touching red, I switch costume to red and I change infected people by one. Let's try it again. As you see now it works. We have 15 infected people. Well, this is not counting the original sprite. Actually, we have 16 infected people, so maybe we should do this. When this is shown, change infected people by one. Hey, and now let's make this game very fun. I'm going to add a sprite that I'm going to control. That sprite is gonna be blue. It's gonna be a blue ball, okay? That's gonna be me. And I will have to try not to be infected by the other balls. Look at how simple it is. We duplicate this. Costumes. Only one costume. Which is gonna be blue. And forever. Go to mouse pointer. That way it is followed by me. But if touching red color, obviously I'm going to start the game again so that I show some red color on the screen and I can take it. That's enough. So if touching red color, we're going to broadcast a message which is going to be a uh, game over, okay? And then we will do something with that message. We're gonna create a sprite, okay? With a text saying game over, which will pop up when we lose. And let's make it simple. When green flag clicked, hide. And when I receive game over, show. If you want, you can add an animation like this. So let's see if it works. If I touch red, game over. But there's a bag. We have to hide all clones and the, the original sprite as well, so that I'm not touching red again. So, when I receive game over, I and we pass it here. Hey guys, two crucial things. One, if I hide it when I receive game over, I have to show it at the beginning of the game. That's important. And the second one, which is a bag that we have here, look. When I touch red, I lose, game over pops up, but when I touch game over, as it is the same red as these balls, it sends this message again. So it has a very easy solution. Let's change the color of game over. A slightly different red. And now we're gonna make the game more interesting. We're gonna create a survival game. We have to survive for one minute. And that minute will begin when everybody, except us, is infected, okay? So first of all, let's create the timer. At the beginning of the game, we're going to hide the timer, but we're going to set it to 60 seconds. So the timer is going to be hidden at the beginning of the game, okay? And now when we change infected people by one, we're going to check if infected people is 60. And if it is, we're going to broadcast timer. And here we're gonna put, when I receive timer, show variable timer, and we could say forever. Change timer by negative one, and wait one second. And now, if timer reaches zero, if timer equals zero, we're going to broadcast victory and we're going to stop the timer and we're going to hide it, okay?
after broadcasting Victor, we're going to stop this script and we're going to hide the timer. And ladies and gentlemen, here you've all witnessed an error, a coding error. Yes, I could say I've done it on purpose to check your, your attention and to train your coding skills, but I would be lying, okay? I also make errors. I will tell you all the errors at the end of the, of the video. And obviously now we have to create a sprite called victory similar to game over, which pops up when it receives victory. I'm going to clone game over. Okay, as I've told you before, now it's time to see what error I've made. Look at the timer. As you've seen, the timer doesn't go one by one, okay? It decreases very quickly. What's the problem? The problem is here. We've said forever, if infected people equals 16 broadcast timer. So as infected people equals 16 all the time, and this is inside this forever, it's broadcasting this message again and again repeatedly. So this block is doing this without waiting, okay? Because it's receiving this message again and again. So that's the problem. So the solution is quite simple. We're not going to use this. We're not going to broadcast timer. Obviously, this is not going to, to be triggered when I receive timer. This is gonna part when green flag clicked, but we're gonna wait until infected people equals 16. So when I click green flag, this block will start and once infected people equals 16, it will show timer and it will stop. Hey, enjoying this video? Stay tuned because at the end of the video I'm gonna try my own game and I'm gonna try to win, obviously, okay? But if you are enjoying it, please subscribe. It's only one click. And finally, we're going to stop the timer when we receive game over. That's pretty simple. Basically, we have to stop other scripts in Sprite and one of the scripts is this one, the timer. So, when we receive game over, we stop this and also we're gonna duplicate it and do the same when victory is received. We're going to hide all the balls and we're going to stop the timer. So now it's the moment to test our game, okay? I'm the creator of the game, so I should be able to win it. Let's see. Come on, here we are. I'm free, everybody's healthy. Oh no, problems. An infected person. Oof. Oof, it's very difficult. I'm gonna try again. Come on. Happiness, freedom. <sighs> there is a trick we could do, which is hide over here, but I'm a very brave person, so I'm gonna be walking around the screen all the time. Come on. Ooh, that was close. 50 seconds, we have survived for 10 seconds and no more. <laughs> Try at home because this is very difficult, very difficult. Hope you're not laughing at me. I think I finally got the hang of it. I'm immortal. I'm immortal. Undestroyable. I'm like vaccinated. Whoa. No, I'm not. Forty four seconds. We have survived. Last try, guys. We have to do it.
20 seconds remaining. Come on, we can do it. Wow. I almost died. We did it, guys, we did it. We are the best. Well, as you see, this game is almost impossible, as it is, with the size and the, the speed these balls have. But we're gonna make it impossible. I've created an extra ball called Killer, which appears when you have 15 seconds remaining. And what is special about this ball, when this is a bit slower, three steps, but it points towards me. So it chases you, okay? So during those 15 seconds, not only you have to handle with the other 16 balls, but you also have to run before that ball. So it makes this game impossible. You can try.